Hi everyone, it's Mao from Sparkly Belly. Last week, I started this maternity belly dance practice outfit series with this fun bat wing crop top. This week, I want to complete this outfit with this high-waisted hip scarf. It's adjustable in size, so it's great for your growing baby bump and looks like a pretty wrap skirt. Of course, it looks great even if you're not pregnant too. Let's get started. To make this high-waisted hip scarf, you need pattern paper. Any large paper will be fine, like craft paper or leftover wrapping paper. You need about 1 meter by 1.2 meters or 39 inches by 47 inches. About 1.5 meters or 1.6 yards of 150 centimeter or 59 inch wide fabric. I'm using the same stretch fabric as one that I used to make the crop top last week, but you can use any lightweight fabric for this. But stretch fabric makes it more comfortable around the waist. And matching color thread. This pattern is very easy to make. First, take these two measurements on your body. Waistline. This is the circumference of your waistline. You can measure this where you get a crease when you bend sideways. Or if your baby bump is big and you want to wear it higher, measure the circumference at the top of your belly. And hip scarf length from the waistline. This is how long your hip scarf is going to be. I measured mine from the waistline to my ankle, but if you want it longer or shorter, adjust it as you like. Once you record these numbers, take your pattern paper. Draw a vertical line at the right end of the paper all the way down. From the top of the line, draw a horizontal line. And from the vertical line, measure your waistline measurement times 0.6 and mark it on the horizontal line. Back on the vertical line, measure 15 centimeters or 6 inches from the horizontal line and make a mark. And now connect these two marks with a gentle curve. You can freehand this line, but make it flat closer to the vertical line. Next, from this end of the curved line, measure 15 centimeters or 6 inches. From there, measure 35 centimeters or 13 and 3 quarter inches down, and this should be perpendicular to the curved line. My height is about 5 foot 1 and I use 35 centimeters here. But if you're taller, you can increase it to 40 to 45 centimeters so you have more coverage on the front side of your body. Then back on the vertical line, from this 15 centimeter mark, measure your hip scarf length and mark it on the line. Now we'll connect the end of the curved line, the 35 centimeter mark and the mark on the vertical line. Start out with a gentle C curve between the first two marks and try to connect it to the last mark smoothly. Cut along the outline and your hip scarf pattern is ready. Fold your fabric right sides together. If you're using stretch fabric, the direction of stretch should be perpendicular to the fold of the fabric. Place the pattern on the fabric and align the straight edge against the fold. And cut while adding a 1 cm or 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. Also, from the leftover fabric, cut out two long strips like this. They are 8 cm or 3 and 3 8 inches wide and use the whole width of the fabric. Alright, it's time to sew. First, let's treat the round edge of the hip scarf panel. For a stretch fabric, you can simply fold 1 cm or 3 eighths of an inch from the edge towards the wrong side and do a zigzag stitch. If you're using woven fabric, you can do a rolled hem or use a serger. Next, take the two long strips and place them right sides together. And do a straight stitch at one of the ends with a 1 cm or 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Now you have one very long strip. Find the center back point on the top edge of the hip scarf panel by folding it in half. Mark it with a pin. Place the panel right side up and place the long strip right side down. Align the center back mark with the seam of the strip. And align the rest of the strip to the top edge of the panel. 
Do a zigzag stitch with a 1 cm or 3 8 of an inch seam allowance along the edges. Now fold the tie strap sections right sides together and do a zigzag stitch with a 1 cm or 3 8 of an inch seam allowance from the ends to the edge of the hip scarf panel. Trim off the corners and turn them right side out. have the hip scarf panel wrong side up. For the rest of the waistband, fold 1 cm or 3 8 of an inch from the edge towards you and fold it again to encase the seam allowance. Place the fold right over the stitches and place a pin or clip. Do this for the entire waistband and do a narrow zigzag stitch along the folded edge. And press all seams, ties, and the waistband so everything is nice and flat. And your high-waisted hip scarf is complete! I love that it's a wrap skirt style so it's adjustable in size when my belly gets bigger. It's such a pretty and modest maternity practice outfit and the flowy hip scarf feels amazing when you twirl. Also, if you're curious about these lace pants I'm wearing here, I have good news. These comfy custom-made pants are what I'm going to be teaching in my upcoming course. If you always struggle to find flare pants that are not too long, not too short and fit you well, this course is for you. I'm doing a pre-sale of this course tomorrow. The pre-sale is only available to my newsletter subscribers, so be sure to sign up now at sparklybelly.com or from the link in the description. Hope you like this DIY high-waisted hip scarf tutorial and if you did, please share this tutorial with your dancer friends. And if you want to make more belly dance costuming bits, join my free course Belly Dance Costume Making 101 at sparklybelly.com slash free course. You'll get lots of beginner-friendly tutorials in this course. Thanks for watching and keep sparkling!